Okay, I'm, medi I'm using a medium worsted yarn and a GF hook. Uh, I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver and um, a darker brown one. Okay, so you want to begin your pattern with a slip knot. and 20 chains. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty chains. Okay, you're going to connect the ends to form a circle using just a simple slip stitch. And now um, a row of single crochet. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row of single crochet and I'm going to connect it with a simple slip stitch again. Now, to begin the second row, is going to be two chain and I'm just going to do double crochet in the second row. So, just execute to, um, double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so I'm at the end of um, the second row. Again, I'm going to connect, connect um, to the first double crochet. Um, with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to add um, the second yarn, which is this um, chocolate brown yarn, and to um, add to add a new strand of yarn, you just draw it as if it's as if it's the the yarn that you're using. So, and then the brown yarn you want to pull that so it flushes against the the bottom row. Okay. Now you can just continue to crochet, and we're going to crochet a sing uh, a row of single crochet with the darker brown yarn. Okay, I'll see you uh, at the end of this row. Okay, so um, the next the next row we're going to do is another row of double crochet of the of the um, lighter shade brown. So I just let my my brown yarn go. I let it go, and I pick up my my first yarn. And I'm just going to draw in through the loop. Oops, let's do that again. Again, draw through the through the loop, and the brown yarn just pull it, and see it flushes to the to the previous row. Now just chain two and double crochet in the next chain. Now you're going to do that until the end of row, but what you can do at this point is you want to go ahead, go ahead and um, you can go ahead and um, secure the yarn, but I'll, I think I'll do that later. 
So let's go ahead and do another row of uh, double crochet. So this iPhone cover or cell phone cover um, is a simple um, stitch of single single crochet <coughs> and double crochet. And we're just alternating each row with um, with the yarn, with the darker brown yarn and the and the regular brown yarn. So again, I finish my second row of double crochet, and I'm going to do the next row of single crochet in the darker brown. So I, as you can see, I just let this go, just let this yarn go, and picked up the brown one and continue to crochet. Again, pull the previous yarn to flush it against the previous row. Now, you just chain one and single crochet till end of row. Okay, so um, I finished the body of my cover and what I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that it fits my phone. So I think this is a pretty good size for my phone. But the next thing to do is I'm going to create a loop for a button. So I'm going to do another row of single crochet. Two, three, four, and five single crochet. Now, this is the middle of the of the um, bag. So now, to create the loop, I'm going to um, single. Um, I mean, I'm going to chain fifteen. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now I'm going to slip stitch that to the um same area as my single my last single crochet. Now I'm going to continue to single crochet until I complete the row. Okay, now I'm going to s slip stitch to complete my row and my last stitch. See now this is the loop and you're going to add the button here and it fastened to the button. So let me cut my yarn. I'm going to use a nail clipper to cut my yarn because I left my scissors at home. Now, to f finish your pattern here is just insert the hook back to your needle and yarn over and pull through all the way. And then in the inside, you want to insert your hook in the pattern and pull the yarn and I'm just going to knot it to prevent it from unraveling and just one more just to be secured okay and then you can cut the remaining yarn but some people like to hide the yarn the remaining yarn in the pattern but I just cut it Okay. 
Now, the last thing to do is the bottom. But before I close the bottom, is I'm just going to pull this yarn closer to the other yarn that's hanging so I can fasten it. Okay, see? Now you can cut the remaining yarn again. Okay, now to close the bottom of the bag, I'm going to use the same color as the base of the bag. And I'm going to begin with a, a slip knot and from one corner of the bag pull the slip knot through and single crochet it. Okay, make sure the, the, the yarn is inside. Okay, now just continue to single crochet to close the bag. Okay, and now I'm going to cut it again. Should be the end of it. And just pull your yarn through the loop one more time. Now, and insert your needle inside the bag and pull the remaining yarn inside so you won't have any yarn sticking out the bag. Okay. Now the only thing you need to do is add a button and what I usually do is you can use a blunt needle, needle. blunt needle is they don't really have a sharp point and your yarn can go through the, the big eye of the needle and that's it.